Since the Commission on Macroeconomics and Health of December 2001, a great deal has been achieved, but a great deal is still left to do in advancing economic growth and equity in developing nations. Speaking in London, Professor Geoffrey Sachs recalled the state of global health 10 years ago. There were lots of speeches and misdirections covering up a world that was doing almost nothing and uh, a world that had gotten completely, absolutely used to leaving millions of people to die of completely preventable causes. We still live in such a world, to be sure. Uh, our world is capable of letting mass death occur with hardly batting an eyelash. At low cost, millions of lives can be saved per year. And though it's low cost, it's too high a cost for the poorest places in the world. This is the hardest thing to understand, I think, of this whole effort, which is that poverty is really a life-taking trap. Uh, that it can really be the case that even a $5 bed net to cover every sleeping site is out of reach of an impoverished society. The failure to help is also the moral failure to keep people alive. It's also the practical failure to help stabilize impoverished countries. It's also the economic policy failure to help break poverty traps. It's a disaster to leave millions of people to die every year in impoverished countries on every count, ethical, security, economic, political. So we came up with a price tag that was roughly 0.1 of 1% of the GNP of the rich world. We still struggle against that standard. That's about 35 to $40 billion a year right now that is the incremental cost needed to close financing gaps. It's a tragedy and a joke how small this number is. Professor Sachs detailed how the following years yielded renewed international spending on global health not least in terms of the PEPFAR and PMI programs. Sachs was a key figure in implementing in the US. More than anything, though, the Commission's work has shown how effective international involvement in health can be. What happened over the last 10 years shows, beyond any doubt, that global health works. Global health as a field works. It's a systematic field. It takes epidemiology, burden of disease, designed interventions, management and delivery systems, monitoring and evaluation as a package for getting from basic knowledge to better health. And it is an effective human system. Of course, it stands improvement, it stands refinement, it stands advances in knowledge, advances in medicines, diagnostics, techniques, but it works. And millions and millions of lives have been saved and more than that, hundreds of millions of lives have been protected by the interventions that have been done.